Hello, my name is Kevin Stamp from PS Motion. This video is part 3 of a series of videos that you can follow to get you started with Mech Designer. If you haven't watched the previous videos, please see the links in the description below. In the previous video, I showed you how to generate a basic rotating cam profile. I will show you how to optimize the mechanism and the cam profile in a later video. For now, let's assume the cam is OK and we are ready to export it to SolidWorks. We can add the engineering details to the cam in SolidWorks and so make it ready for manufacture. To export a cam, we need to add a cam data function block to the model. To add it, we simply click the cam data function block in the kinematic function block toolbar and then click the graphic area. We must open its dialog to link it to the 2D cam that is in our model. There are a number of ways to edit an element. For example, you can double click the element. Here, we will click the element in the graphic area so that it shows in the selection window. Then we will right click the element in the selection window and select Edit Element in the contextual menu. This is the cam data function block dialog box when we first open it. We can see that it is not yet linked to the 2D cam. To link it, we need to select the cam in the model. We simply click the 2D cam in the graphic area or the assembly tree. The name of the 2D cam element now shows in this box. When we have selected the 2D cam, we can generate the cam coordinates. We can generate the CAM data in many formats with different accuracies. In this case, we will generate 1000 points equally spaced over the range of the CAM, which in this case is one complete rotation, or 360 degrees. I have now split the screen so we can see SolidWorks and the Mech Designer model and the CAM data function block dialog box. We can send the CAM coordinates to an empty document or to an existing SOLIDWORKS part document. For example, we may have a CAM blank in SOLIDWORKS that has the engineering details already added, but is waiting for the CAM profile. We only need to click the Send CAM coordinates to SOLIDWORKS button, and the data will be transferred in a few seconds. The curve will appear in SOLIDWORKS. You will also see the x-axis and the y-axis of the CAM which should coincide with the 0, 00 of the CAM blank. At this point, you will ask yourself, why is the CAM rotated relative to the CAM in Mech Designer? You should know, as I have just remembered, that the CAM coordinates are solved relative to the local coordinates of the part to which you, you added the CAM. In this case, the cam part is this rotating camshaft. Its home position is still at some arbitrary position. We will move its home position to be horizontal. The home position of the camshaft is controlled with this motion dimension function block. We need to open its dialog box. To do this, I will click it so that it shows in the selection window. I then right click it in the selection window and then click Edit Element in the Contextual menu. The base value parameter in the dialog box is the angle of the cam part from the reference line we selected to define the motion dimension. In this case, the reference line is horizontal, and so when we set the base value to zero, the camshaft part will also become horizontal. Now we can recalculate the CAM coordinates and send the data again to SOLIDWORKS. Again, this takes seconds to do, and now we can see the CAM is in the correct position relative to the horizontal axis. We need to delete the first set of data so we do not get confused. If the CAM data is for a CAM track with a groove, we need to send the external CAM coordinates as well as those for the internal CAM. 
To switch the cam, we click this button in the Mech Designer dialog. We can then recalculate the cam coordinates and finally click the SolidWorks button again. When the data has been transferred to SOLIDWORKS, we can close the CAM coordinates dialog in MechDesigner. In SOLIDWORKS, to cut the CAM track, we start a sketch on the front face of the CAM. We use the Convert Entities Sketch tool to create a spline of the external and external CAMs. Finally, we extrude the sketch to cut the cam into the cam blank. Now you'll be able to save the cam blank in SOLIDWORKS as a copy. You will also be able to use a cam mechanical mate between a cam roller and the cam extrusion surface in your SOLIDWORKS assembly document. I hope you found this video easy to follow. If you have any questions, please email us at sales at psmotion.com with your questions. The next video will show you how to add gears to your mechanism.